Prynhawn da, good afternoon. It's Sunday the 15th of October. Hope everybody's well. Just come back home from um, a Sunday lunch in the town. And it was lovely. Didn't have a beer though. But I have got three beers. Pat's Breweries, three beers. Thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate it. I'm going to go through these three. Right, what have we got? The Mild High Club. And that is... I need to take my glasses to read that. 3.3%. 3.3%. Pat's Porridge Oatmeal Stout. There you go. And... Last but not least, Heaven Horizon, and that is, again, take my glasses off, a Hefeweizen, 5.3%. Right, let's open them up. What am I going to go with first? I think I'm going to go with the Mild High Club first. So here we go, guys. Oh, nice hiss. I think it's a bit lively. Yeah, I might pour this, move on to the next and let this settle a bit. I'll drink that one last then. I'm gonna go for the Hefeweizen. Let's give that a go, come on. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, bit of his in there. Oh, bit of cannon smoke. Give this one a go. It's pouring out much better. It's a lovely colour, mate. Lovely colour. Look at that. Perfect head on that. Perfect head on that, mate. Nice bit of uh, coloration on it as well. Yeah, some fruity notes on that one, mate. Must admit, I'm a drinker rather than an aroma addict. So let's dive in. Oh, that's how it's cold as well. Yeah. Definitely got those uh, esters and those yeast coming through. Definitely. Good on you, mate. Some hints of um, that banana on the back end, but more bubblegum type thing. It's it's a cracker, mate. Good on you. It's quite thirsty as well. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna enjoy that. Um, whilst I enjoy it. Um, just let you know what's going on here. So I've got this um, APA next to you here and that's uh, bubbling away. I have made a vlog um, so that's nearly enough coming to an end of its fermentation period. I'll be popping it down to cold crash tomorrow so I'll leave that. Um, the murky straight is in the cold room, cold box, whatever you want to call it excuse me it's in there it's been there over a week and a bit now so i'm gonna leave it obviously to the 30 days because i think it does make a hell of a difference it's sitting at 
5.6 degrees at the moment want to get it down to four but this won't go down to four it, it hangs i came in here this morning just to check on the fermenter that everything was okay checking the um the gravity We're only a couple of points off so i had a quick look on this uh cold box but it was down to about 4.4 it was a bit chilly out there this morning so obviously the ambient temperature has um assisted in bringing it down as well, uh, the temperature down i should say so i've only got that but um, i was looking at um brewer bit rick he's in that stage well a lot most of us will get to where you need to get uh, to use or get rid of all the um stock that you have so you can get some fresh stock i'm at that stage with my hops so i'm i've got golden promise in abundance they have about four bags of five kilos left i think so One, yeah four bags of five kilos i've got you know, I've got four 23 litre batches there, um, but I'm trying to get rid of all the hops. I purchased quite a bit from the malt miller when they were all on offer, and a few of them, the BBC, I think they utilised a bit more during the aroma um, period. Um, so yeah, I've got, I've got loads left, and I'm going to crack on and, and do beers with um, those hop um, additions. Um, the reason for the golden promise, the four sacks or the four bags of five kilos I've got, I, I just need to try and hone in on what golden promise gives. So that's why I've used um, the, just a standard pale uh, Marisotta for most with a bit of additions, obviously, um, different other malts. But I'm just trying to get an understanding now of what different malts and what they give. Um, so that's where I'm at at the moment with brewing. I need to uh, get another um, uh, recipe made, really, with the hops. So we'll give that a go. Um, and and that's it, really, on the beer front. I just want to try and get it, as I said, get rid of these hops um, by using these malts here, the uh, Golden Promise, as I said. And nothing else. I've had no new toys or anything. Um... And I'm not planning on getting any new toys either. <laughs> I've got plenty to be going at. And yeah, so still thoroughly enjoying the brewing and uh, had a quick look this morning at the Hop Edition. Uh, was it the BrewCon in London? Uh, there was a 23 minute video on YouTube this morning. Um, so I had a quick look at that. Looks like you guys enjoyed yourselves. I can't remember the guy that they interviewed, the first guy who was sat down. Um, I think he was he had done a book about yeast but he mentioned something about um putting zinc i think it was into uh with a fermentation um as an addition i think uh with the yeast nutrients um i would have loved to be down there to see what he had to say about that but i think it's going to come out in a book so um in the next 12 months but really interesting if maybe the hop edition if any of you are looking at this vlog that you can just enlighten us a bit more on what he was saying about that um so yeah that was really interesting and uh yeah so that's where i'm at guys not much um more going on i'm going to continue drinking this one and uh i'll bring you back online when i'm pouring out the second one Cheers guys, Yechida. That was great mate, lovely, lovely bit of lacing on that glass as well after that beer, happy days. Right, beer number two, the Mile High Club, lovely dark beer, nice pillowy head on that as well, don't know if you can just show that guys. Oh, definitely, um, caramelly type of, um, thing going on there. As I said, dive in, in it. Right, you there. Very nice. Slightly over carbonated, I must admit, I think, because that bottle was really, and it's quite fizzy in there. But the, the taste is uh, something else. I've got a good friend of mine, um, loves a mild 
and I'm um, sure he'd really appreciate this. Um, it's not a beer that you usually find nowadays, is it? So, um, yeah, it's great to get uh, a mile going. I think, um, I think you can get cans of mild in the supermarket. Um, banks, if I remember rightly. It's not something that I usually drink, but I could easily, um, I like my da dark beers, um, stouts and what have you and, um, stuff like this, but it's, I don't know what it is. I think when you're young, you start going out and drinking and try lag and then mix it with a bit of bit. So we call it Chinese around here. I don't know why you call it that, but, um, a pint of Chinese and then you'd start off going on. But the, the mild always used to be the old man's drink, so I t tended to keep away from it. Then, I don't know, just like a bit of stigma, <laughs> I suppose. But um, you come to appreciate these dark beers as you get older. And uh, possibly, you know, I think when you're young, it's just like there's too much things going on. They all like this lag, don't they? Just clean, crisp, not much going on, really. Except for the alcohol content, obviously. But I really do... Um, it makes me think a lot more when I'm drinking the dark beer. Really going for the multi taste, the um, charcoaly taste, uh, the treacle, the um, the burnt taste, chocolate, coffee, all of that kind of thing going on. And it's, I think it's more of an enjoyable beer to have, you know, as a comfort beer really, because it really does. Well, it makes my mind think about a lot about the taste. I know how it's not there just for banging away and you know not not a beer you'd want when you're thirsty uh, it's something to on a cold winter's evening just have it front of the fire with the tv or the radio on and just uh even reading a book but it's quite a comforting drink mate i like it Oh, that is nice. Fair dues. Well done, Pat. That's great, mate. Um, I was watching... Who was I watching this morning as well? A live brew day. Twisted Hop. I think it was Twisted Hop, it was. Just came up. I started watching it, and who came on was... Um, Andy, Four Priests. He was watching it. So... Uh, I think he said he was going to go live this afternoon. Um, I think he had some kegging to do, was it? I think kegging or something. But he's going to go live this afternoon, so look out for that, guys. And I've been watching, um, like most of us probably, the um, three-part edition by made by Martin with this chiller. He was absolutely gutted, and I think all of us felt the same, really gutted for him. And uh, I think he was glad when Andy Lynch, uh, I think he put a message to say th the th some of the things with his chiller were, were okay, but needed to look into it. And uh, I'll not say the outcome is well worth a watch, watching those three. We've all been there, haven't we? You know, you bought something, maybe second hand or whatever, and it, things don't quite work out, and you money down the drain you think the world's over don't you <laughs> but um yeah well worth a watch there's a th it's a three-parter and you've got to feel for for the guy because i did I, I really i think most of us did i mean if whoever's watched it a lot of people are commenting saying you know it's, it's nothing worse absolutely nothing worse but uh well done right and i'm glad you've uh, sorted it out and i uh, saw a snippet this morning on four priests He'd come over to put some, give you some cans and some uh, um, plastic kegs, and uh, yeah, it was, it was great. Uh, Marley looked well, mate. But uh, nice to see the setup that's going on there now, and really looking forward to um, his brew days coming up. So all the very best, Martin. Right, we're going to enjoy this. I'll come back in two ticks, guys. You've done it again, Pat. Some lovely lacing on that glass. Jeez. Well done, yeah.
Right, last but not least, um, Pat's porridge oatmeal. I've never had an oatmeal stout in my life, so really I'm looking forward to this. Really am. Definitely carbonated, mate. Ice uh, hiss there. Cannons all coming out. Lovely colour to that coming out the bottle from where I'm standing anyway. Oh yeah. Some lovely chocolate notes there. Straight away. Again, lovely pillowy head. What colour you'd call that? It's um a creamy light brown head on that. Fantastic, right? dive in that's my kind of beer the mild had some uh, started the cogs thinking but this yeah this is my kind of beer it's my last tip before going to bed type of thing some people have whiskey and stuff I much prefer just to have a dark stout but this has got character different tastes um, the mouthfeel is fantastic on it Yeah, I go all quiet when I'm thinking. I lose all track of everything. So, kudos to you, Pat. That's a great beer, mate. That is number one for me, but I do like dark beers. Um, Hefeweizen, um, number two. And the mild, because I'm not used to, used to, to mild. And um, But this, this is the creme de la creme of the three. It's a shame they have to pick any winners I don't really have to do it but you know I thought to give them a kind of scores this is the the beer for me mate so I'm gonna cuddle this for a bit more <laughs> <coughs> excuse me so yeah that's it guys just a quick one today I'm gonna to go back in now and watch a bit of rugby later on see who goes through we were soundly beaten last night uh, and Ireland as well. I thought Ireland would have done a bit better than what they did, but there we go. Uh, Wales are up and coming, young crew there. Ireland, um, maybe a lot of them are coming to the end of their careers and uh, all the best of them anyway. So, England, Fiji first. Uh, my sister in law will be ribbing me so, so much if uh, England go through today. All the best to you. And, um, South Africa, France, that's going to be a cracking game in it. So that's what's in store for me tonight, guys. So um, I'm going to hold on to this pack for some time. I'm not going to drink it all quickly. I'm going to go to the bar in the house, put some YouTube on first before the matches, see uh, who's on. And uh, just before I go, DTS and um, Dave at Cheshire Homebrew, really looking forward to see... Uh, that double batch you made together um, really worth a watch that one guys so um, I think there was some hops from South Africa uh, used in that one so that will be quite an interesting one to look at but yeah I'll end it here guys um, thank you very much as we say in Wales Diolch and Waur 
and Yechida. Cheers.